Let's talk about the running backs here again. I'm counting Lance Dunbar as a pass catcher because in week three, Dallas had two of the four highest running back snap rates of the entire week. Dunbar played 61% of the snaps. Cameron Artis Payne played 77%, and they both played in the backfield a lot. So I'm not going to say I'm going to use them together, but I'm not going to, like, if I wound up there, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Um, and the other thing is, liking Dunbar does not lower my interest in Cameron Artis Payne, who I think is one of the better running back plays on this slate. Um, he had 13 carries and six targets last week. He actually ran more routes than Lance Dunbar, too. So I would prefer Cameron Artis Payne. I like Lance Dunbar quite a bit, though. And I think it's similar to the St. Louis situation where I like both of these running backs. I think I like both these running backs more than I like the St. Louis guys because both of them get targets. But I think they're both very interesting. Uh, what's your read on, on Dunbar and Artis Payne? Yeah, I mean, I think that they're both pretty much core level plays where you can't go wrong with either of them. Uh, Artis Payne second in the XFL and rushing market share, uh, the percentage of his team's carries. Uh, they both get targets. This is this team should score. This is the most likely game that we've probably had all season to go back and forth, be high scoring. So uh, I'm with you just just by liking Lance Dunbar is not necessarily an indictment uh, against like Cameron Artis Payne. They're both a really good plays this week. Would you use both in the same lineup? Because I think I'd be okay with that. I don't think just because the the scenario in which both kind of hit their ceiling is a very low percentage of those games, if that makes sense. I mean, they're yeah. both playing snaps, but uh, if there are only so many running back touchdowns to go around, so that's kind of where I'd be coming from. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't play someone I, I didn't like to avoid it, yeah. but I'm probably not going to, to try to do it actively. And I think there are enough, like, because basically the situation then is you're choosing Lance Dunbar or a wide receiver. And there are enough wide receivers on the slate in the $16 ish range. Like, uh, we haven't talked about Eli Rogers yet, but he's $15. I talked about Khalil Lewis. He is $16. Nagel is 15. Um, You've got good op or DeAndre Tompkins at seventeen, so I can see why you'd want to not go there. I was just throwing it out there that like I could cons- I could see it. Uh, yeah. I could see myself doing it. I mean, I don't like I said, I don't think it's the worst idea you could have. Yeah. Uh, but I probably wouldn't actively try to do it. 